To add IVO modules, go to the My Plan section, select the devices and go to IVO modules in the devices. Initially, you will have four different options to add and assign the IVO modules. Addition implies that the hardware is integrated and identified by SCO200, whereas assignment implies a new Modbus ID is given by SCO200 to the IVO module. In this video, we would like to show you add and assign new IVO module. Once you press the button, wait for the instructions to pop up. And once you have the instructions, press the push button on the IVO module. So the next available Modbus ID is automatically given by SEO200 to the IVO module. And once the bar is green, it implies that the IVO module is successfully integrated. Once the integration is complete, it is important to configure the IVO modules. Here I would like to show you how to integrate a pulse meter using the IVO module. So I select the signal type that is pulse, the device category, a water meter and the device type. Since I selected water meter, it is recognizing water. It is important to select the right tag because they were useful in identifying the devices in the widgets and contracts or groups. I give a pulse weight and the unit of the pulse. Similarly, I would also configure all the other input modules. For an output module, it is sufficient you select the output type and the device that is attached to the IVO module and save the configuration. Once the saving is successful, we can visualize the values of this IVO module in the home page. Go to home page, create a new dashboard, add the widget. Here I would like to show you how to add the instantaneous values widget, select the IVO modules and in the tabular form, you can visualize the consumption of your gas meter or the water meter. Thank you.